These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain. Their teachings are merely human rules. I write this down. Jesus is saying the Pharisees' hearts were far from God. Okay, so we've got all these hints. The people who know Jesus best don't follow him. The disciples with the power to heal are rejected. Herod, who knows the right thing, respects this guy, loves this guy, honors this guy, likes listening to him talk, he still kills John because of his own pride. The disciples have been with Jesus, and yet their hearts are hardened to sense Jesus' love and power together at work. And finally, the Pharisees are all uptight about the rules and regulations, but their hearts are far from God. The bad news has something to do with our hearts, and Jesus finally tells us what it is in verse 14. Look at this. Jesus called the crowd to him and says, listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it's what comes out of a person that defiles them. The disciples ask him what it means. Jesus says, are you so dull? And then we pick it up. Don't you see that nothing that enters a person from the outside can defile him? For it doesn't go into their heart. It goes into their stomach. It doesn't go into their heart, into their stomach. Then out of the body. In saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. That's a little parenthesis. Mark is trying to tell us, oh, by the way, Jesus says it's now okay to eat pig. It's just so you know, you might want to highlight that bacon is okay. Okay, bacon is okay. Verse 19. Verse, then he goes on, 21, verse 20. What comes out of a person is what defiles them, for it's from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come. Sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, even folly. All these evils come from inside and defile a person. Jesus says, this is the bad news. Evil, which the Bible calls sin, is embedded in your heart. Evil is embedded in our hearts. I know you live in America, and I do too. We call ourselves Americans sometimes, and we believe as Americans that everybody is inherently good. We have a constitutional form of government, which means I trust your vote. Creepy to me, but yes, I trust your votes, which means I believe that you're smart enough to make a wise decision. I believe everybody is good in their hearts because I'm an American. But Jesus says, no, you're not. That mistake you made when you were younger, it's not because you didn't know any better. It's because evil is in your heart. That foolish decision you made last week, it's not because you're a victim of circumstance. It's because there's evil in your heart. The years you rejected Jesus, it's not because the church experience was so bad for you. It's because there's evil in your heart. And don't tell yourself the lie that you're better than most people because none of us is better than most people because we're all most people. And evil is in our hearts. This is the bad news. This is the bad news. Evil is stuck deep down inside of our hearts. The Bible calls it sin, and it's there. And this is why repentance is good news. Because repentance says the door is open for you to take a different path. You're on this path, but the door is open for you to take a different path. And no matter who you are, how old you are, or whatever, evil is always in your heart unless someone who can take it away takes it away. Jesus is that person. He says, I'm bringing you good news. I'm telling you, you can repent. It's possible to pick a different path, to go on a different road. But without me, it's just evil in your heart. And, and that's bad news. I, I want to prove this. I want to show you. There's, there's a family in our church that had a baby this last week. And everybody knows babies are innocent. Babies are pure. And they're, they're, they're these holy little angels. And they're, they're, they never do anything wrong. And this baby hasn't done anything wrong. He's just... The baby's just sitting there th sucking on his thumb or, or her. I mean, so it's Sophia. She's the daughter of uh, Josh and Abby Brown. They were, she was just born this last week. And this is from their Facebook page. The day after Sophia was born or the day she was born. I, I can't even remember which. Just a cute, 
cute baby. We were looking at these pictures this last week. We we're going through the Facebook pictures, my, my family and I, and we're looking at all these different pictures, cute pictures. And then we come to this picture and my son says, oh, she's picking her nose. <laughs> and I thought, that's an evidence of sin right there. Not that the baby is sinning, but that all of us do that same thing where we see something of beauty and we just find something to point out. It's just what we do. Jesus is casting out demons, but I can say, hey, he's just a carpenter. Some church is really reaching a lot of people, and we can point our fingers at him and say, oh, that is too big. We can do all kinds of finger pointing. It's because deep down, we have to know this about ourselves. Evil is not out there. It's right here. And Jesus says, repent. The door is open for you to take a different path. And even though the path looks like it might be really long, even though it might take you a longer journey, it might be more difficult, the journey will be worth it. The journey will be beautiful. 